All right. So in this session, we are going to discuss the parallel processing options that we have in Pega. Okay. So we often get across a situation where more than one task can be handled by more than one person and often in parallel. Okay. They do not have dependency uh, basically to come to get the first task completed before the second task can be completed or started. So in Pega, we have a certain safe to launch parallel processes. First one is split join. Second one is split for each. And third one is spin off. Okay. So split join is used when we need to launch parallel processes which are heterogeneous in nature. They're not the same parallel process. Okay. This is not ideal for the same process um, when we have more than one type of process to be um, launched in parallel like uh, uh, in a typical example when you get hired um, some department in your organization will be setting up your laptop someone will be setting up your desk someone will be setting up your id card someone will set you up in the hrms system right? those all are different different processes and they could all be done in parallel right so that's where we use a split join so let's see how do we do that okay so here we have a case for new saving account i'm going to create some dummy processes uh, <clears throat> that we will launch with split join so first one is let's say um, dispatch checkbook okay So create an open. So we need, uh, of course, we need a flow action for that, right? So let's open a flow. Okay, that is that is something we will have to create, right? So create a new. All right, this will need a section as well. So we'll just create a section too. And we will simply have um, one text showing that this is for the dispatching the check. Save this one. Save this one too. So we should switch off the draft mode. If this is on, then if there is any error or something is missing, that will not be prompted. So let's switch off this and save it again. So no error, everything is fine. Now I'll create one more flow to get the debit card printed for that customer. Okay. print card we need a section to All right, this is done as well. Now, this print card, um, I'll get it assigned to an operator. Uh, let's say we 
this one okay and uh, dispatch checkbook will be assigned to another operator you can assign that to a team and mostly it's going to be a team only but for the demo purpose we will have it assigned to a work list okay now this is ready okay we have two flows that we can launch we can launch them whenever we want so after the approval has been granted an account has been set up okay maybe i'll not resolve the case here but automatically move to the next one okay and here we will add another stage fulfillment okay and we will we will create a process there save it now this one has to be resolving the case here pending fulfillment when it will come here okay now let's open this flow we'll remove this one we don't need it and we will launch two processes here see draft mode is on even i saved it did not give me error if i un uncheck this this will give me an error that this is not correct okay anyway so you find those shapes in the advanced shape okay split join is what we want to do first okay So join conditions. So whatever processes you are lo launching, all means that case will stay here unless all the processes are ended. Okay? You can have any. That means as soon as any one of the process is completed, the case will move forward. Some you can specify how many. Okay? So we will say all at the moment, and specify a flow rule. See, you can have as many flow rules as you want, like this. All right? So we just need two for a demo and we will say dispatch checkbook. This is a process flow and we'll select the flow. This is the case type. That should be enough. Any audit note for the case history if you want to put. That is going in. Alright, so this is the first sub process, and then the second one is uh, print card. This is again the same case. Alright, let's just submit this. All right, and you say start fulfillments. Okay, save it. Now, if I create the case, uh, let me just refresh this once. Right, start fulfillments, split for each, split join. Okay. Now let me create a case. So you will start our system there. Approve. 
account setup was automated process and then you see two sub processes are created right then the execution of that flow the flow that we specified in the sub process will continue so you will have to complete both in order to move the case to the next uh, shape in the flow okay so this is another flow i mean dispatch checkbook completed the first flow completed the second that's it done okay if i just change it um, setting here and say join condition any the as soon as you will complete the first one it will finish Did I save it? So these two, let me complete this one. See, the last one will disappear automatically. Okay, so that's the split join.